हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट यूनिट सिक्स पॉलिटिकल इकोनॉमी ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड आवर टॉपिक इज रोल ऑफ द स्टेट द अबव एलस्ट्रेटिव ब्रीफ एनालिसिस ऑफ द रोल ऑफ कैपिटल एकोमुलेशन एंड इंटरनेशनल कैपिटल मूवमेंट्स होप्स टू हैव शोन द लिमिटेशंस परवेसिटीज नॉन फिजिबिलिटी एंड नॉन डिजायरेबिलिटी ऑफ द स्पोर्टेनियस एज वेल एज कॉन्सियस एंड डिवियर्स टू डेवलप बाई मीन्स ऑफ कैपिटल एकोमुलेशन as the principal engine of growth supported in numerous ways by the international economic relations under the hegemony of the early industrialized ex colonial powers true pro- production must increase and for this purpose generally capital accumulation is needed especially when other factors of the production are available but this is a mean to numerous higher ends and has to be the result of changes in the socio economic institutional structure prevalent in the poor countries which thought the development at micro and macro levels by leaving unchanged and in fact strengthening the existing dysfunctional distorted and anti developmental structures institutions and relationships and depending on capital formation as the prime major instrument in such a framework one would strengthen the anomies alienation oppression and denial of human and national potential development is basically a socio economic exercise in some development is best some up as both national community and individual and empowerment in techo techno economic aspects have to be subsumed as subsidiary ones commanded by the former by removing their unjust oppressive features even though a drastic restructuring may be an essential precondition the popularity of resource transfer policy with the un organizations never fulfilled targets of assistance from the rich to the poor countries seems to be derived from its inherent capacity to serve the interest of government elite both in the so called donor and the reci- recipient countries for the former these transfers create demand and market for their goods and services give them global hegemonic power over the course of development of the poor countries for the elite from the poor countries apart from the reducing the necessity to tighten the belt and generate savings such inflows give them access to technology brand names and opportunities for luxurious levels of consumption and help create illusion of development in any case in an unequal society any resource infusion without institutional structural change gives disproportionate benefit to the people in the top rungs the ped critic of the conventional development economics goes beyond a critical examination of the policy variable of capital accumulation it is true that until the counter revolution in development economies in the first half of the 1970s there was little difference of opinion concerning the key and leading catalytic 
entrepreneurial role of the state in energizing, directing and even directly conducting the processes of capital accumulation, industrialization and economic growth along with the satisfying some societal welfare concerns. Within the broad parameters of active strategic development policy, there were of course differences of emphasis, nuances, choice of agencies, instruments and organizational forms, durability of strategic interventions and their relationship with various domestic and external social and economic groups. The post-colonial urge for self-reliance and striving for relatively independent place in the Committee of National II had few exceptions. In societies where the state has among the relatively advanced and better organized institutions with its constituents exposed to the historical experience of the early industrializers, the state directed and commanded the processes of accumulation and successfully created other alternative foci of power and capability, especially in countries with restrictive approach toward FDI. In any case, aid or concessional foreign assistance mainly at state to state level played a critical role in the growth acceleration experience until the first oil shock of early 1970s. In India, the public sector was given the leading role, especially direct entrepreneurial role for providing the basic economic and physical infrastructure and setting up heavy and basic capital and intermediate goods industries, pushing up the rate of savings and investments, regulating, guiding and supporting the growth of private industrial sector in designated areas and taking care of some of the imperatives of social welfare of especially the weaker sections. It really went a long way in discharging these historic tasks, though the process could not be sustained and the public sector or the state came under severe attack in the economic sphere. Now let us wind up the session and take rest. Thank you so much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcasts.